Let's talk about bowl opt-outs. Now, we don't spend long on these, of course, but there's some interesting names that have popped up that will not be playing this bowl season. Kenny Pickett, quarterback for Pitt. I brought this up as an option because Mark Whipple resigned and went over to Nebraska because Whipple is not going to coach. Kenny Pickett is not going to play. Uh, I think he is pretty much guaranteed to be a first-round guy, maybe early second round, but I think he already knows where he's going to be. He's got nothing to prove in this bowl game. Uh, basically, if you go out and you don't have a stellar performance against Michigan State, it's going to look bad on you. So there's there's nothing else to prove at this point. Uh, the only thing that can happen is it can hurt you because if you have a good day against Michigan State, well, uh, you were supposed to. But if you don't, then everybody wants to know what happened, what went wrong. So I don't, I don't blame him at all for not playing in this bowl game. So that means the two Heisman finalists from that game, Pitt against Michigan State, are Kenneth Walker III and Kenny Pickett, the quarterback. And they are both sitting out. So this will be a very interesting ball game at this point. Very difficult to handicap because uh, who knows? what the running back situation is going to look like for Michigan State, and who knows what the quarterback situation will look like for Pitt, especially without their offensive coordinator. Uh, on the other side, Iowa State's running back, Brees Hall, is he's headed to the NFL, and I don't blame him at all for that. But this is another one of those situations where you got nothing left to prove, and Clemson's defense, even without Brent Venables, their defense has been stout this year. They are the lone reason why Clemson ended up 9-3 and three this year, I don't blame them. I don't blame them in the slightest because, at best, you could end up having a killer day, but everybody already knows that you're pretty good. The most likely situation is against Clemson's defense, you're probably not going to have a very good day running the football. And is that really the last game film that you want out there before you head to the NFL Combine, etc.? I don't think so. I don't think so at all. So... If I'm Brees Hall, I love this place. I love what you've done for me, Matt Campbell. But adios. I will see you on the next go-round. I don't blame him for doing that. I don't blame Kenny Pickett. These opt-outs, while I wish that we could watch them play one last time because these matchups are very intriguing, I don't blame them for sitting out at all. I understand the way that the, the sausage is made now. I understand the way that this works. And cheers to him. Cheers to him. It's a very difficult decision. I, If I were putting that position. I don't know that I would do anything different. I, I would like to think that I would play and and do one last game with my teammates, but looking at all of the money involved, etc. in the future, I think I might would roll the way that, that these kids are doing. Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com and if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter at GaryWCE, at ChrisBGiannini, at Winning Cures, or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.